so uh, Professor Ramsey, you support um, the uh, the uh, bringing in temporary foreign workers to meet essential labor market shortages, uh, but you support them more if they come in with their families uh, so that they are more likely to stay and settle. Am I he clear in hearing you say that? Yeah, I'll, I'll just fix the sentence, but you're, you're right. Okay. I, I am. I'm just saying that if you bring in families, it mm -hmm. will be more successful. Okay. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That's, my, that's the experience we've had in Manitoba, and you can see this through all of the RDI research they've been doing. And, and again, I asked the committee to contact Westman Immigrant Services because they will tell you the story. Mr. Well. Bergman, is that an experience you have observed in Atlantic Canada, that when temporary foreign workers come with their families and with some community support, they're more likely to succeed, stay, and transit to permanency, and therefore to your population? Yeah, I, I did pick up on your cluster question earlier as well. Uh, certainly, you know, probably going back uh, 15 to 20 years ago, uh, at that time, according to the longitudinal immigrant database that Visit Canada uh, maintains, about 84 to 85 percent of the immigrants went to three large urban centers in Canada, Montreal, Toronto, and, and the greater Vancouver area. That percentage over time has dropped a bit. Uh, even if you look at that latest June 22nd report I talked about, uh, as well as the uh, October 26th uh, release of the immigration data, that percentage is now uh, lower that goes to those three urban centers. And that's because we're slowly developing populations uh, of visible minorities and immigrants in other areas of the country. Uh, and certainly if they bring their families and you create a cluster and you created a, a sense of a community and a sense of attachment, that can help. But at the same time, you have those large draws. We're still gonna have those large cities where there's more people that speak their language that respect their culture uh, and, and they and they can relate to. Uh, so, you know, it, those are personal decisions. I, I think at some point this committee may be advised to look at the experience of Winnipeg and the Filipino community, but our 